guys. I've said before um, that I God's calling me to make videos to sort of expedite the process of posting and blog posting and things like that. So I'm just going to go for it and share what I believe uh, or what I know God is speaking to the, me this morning with you. So something that God told me very clearly was don't let the sin of the past cause you to sin in the present. Don't let the sin of your parents that happened in the past cause you to harbor anger or resentment or bitterness or unforgiveness. Don't let the sin of your boyfriend or girlfriend's past cause you to sin in the present. Don't let your child's sin of the past, their past rebellion, their past um, resistance, their past wandering to cause you to sin in the present, to cause you to stray from God, to be angry at God, to um, turn away from him instead of turning towards him, to operate apart from his spirit and not in love. Don't let the sin of the past cause you to sin in the present. Don't let your sin of the past cause you to sin in the present. Your sin of, um, often sometimes we justify sin with more sin. It's like, well, I already didn't persevere in this one area. I already gave up on um, or fell or stumbled in this one area, so I might as well just keep going. I might as well just con continue all the way in sin. Um, a past struggle for me where that was really evident was food. It was like, oh, well, I've already given in to binging, so I might as well just keep on overeating and enjoy the sin that I've given myself over to instead of stopping and saying, no, I don't want to continue in this. Don't let your sin from the past, even if the sin from the past is 10 minutes ago or 10 years ago, don't let the sin of the past cause you to sin in the present, be it your sin or someone else's sin, be it your sin against yourself or towards someone or um, someone else's sin towards you. Don't let the sin of the past cause you to sin in the present. The present moment should be dictated by God and the Spirit of God and your relationship with God. The children of God are those who are led by the Spirit of God. That's what Romans 8, 14 says. So to be led by the Spirit of God means to be led by Him, to speak with Him, to talk to Him, to know Him, to turn to Him instead of turning to more sin to solve your sin. Um, and it really just kind of, I don't know, it struck me as profound this morning and set me free in a couple areas. I've allowed in my own life, my sin of the past to cause me to sin in the present or justify my sin in the present. I also have allowed the sin of others sin against me in the past to cause me to sin in the present. I've allowed myself or justified my sin in the present because of someone else's sin in the past. And God says that's not okay. It doesn't matter what sin is in the past. It doesn't justify sin in the present. Sin never justifies sin. Righteousness and justice are what overcome sin. Right living, justice and mercy, loving the Lord your God. So I just wanted to share that with you all. I pray it blesses your heart and God can speak to you through it with whatever you're struggling with, whatever stronghold or area of your heart you're not giving to God and you're justifying your sin in. Um, don't let the sin of the past cause you to sin in the present. Okay, I pray you all have a blessed and beautiful day, a day filled with God's beauty. I just want to add the only thing that justifies sin is the blood of Jesus Christ, the perfect sacrifice. And I don't mean justified in the sense of a license to sin and keep on sinning. I mean justified in the sense of declared not guilty before a just and holy judge because someone else paid your price. Someone else took the punishment. Someone else took your judgment so you could go free. That's what I mean by justified. In Romans 6, it talks about being dead to sin. If you've 
for the one who's died has been set free from sin. So there's actually nothing that ever justifies more sin in the sense of allows you to keep on sinning or gives you permission to sin. Um, there's nothing. Okay, that's all for now.